Ardash was the smallest brown-haired, brown-limbed boy in a town full of boys as brown-haired and brown-limbed as he. From the dappling of the dawn's dew to the sighing song of the sinking sun, little boys would swarm from one corner of the town to another, a raucous gaggle of brown-eyed squawking girls. And Ardash would swarm and squawk right along behind them. But because he was the smallest of all the small boys, his squawk was more like a squeak. Nobody ever noticed him. Morning after morning, the brown-haired boys each told the townsfolk in the marketplace where they thought the princess's magic book had been hidden. Evening after evening, as the princess wept and sighed, the whole town hoped that the night search would reveal its secret. But of course, it never did, because the brown-haired boys were just guessing. In fact, there was only one person that knew where to find the book. Actually, there was only one person that was small enough to know. Of course, that person was Ardash. But he was so small that nobody even knew that he was there. Until one day, the sun was shining stronger than usual on the crowd in the marketplace. Ardash, standing alone by the palace, saw his shadow thrown against the white walls. A huge shape, black and strong, and ominous as a dragon poised to strike. And seeing it, Ardash began dancing. Wherever he moved, the shadow moved with him. Spinning and spiralling, cavorting and contorting, it shifted and shuffled, undulating at the command of his arms and feet. And though Ardash was so small that the townspeople had never seen him, or even heard him speak, they could see the dancing shadow from their viewpoint in the marketplace. And soon enough, the shadow began to dance out a story that they had been waiting months to hear. Of course, the dance was about a boy, so small that the princess's uncle didn't notice him following when he crept out of the palace to hide his bundle. Of course, the dance revealed the small hole where the bundle was hidden. And of course, the bundle that only Ardash was small enough to retrieve was indeed the princess's magic book. Of course, Ardash was rewarded with a feast and his statue in the marketplace for everyone to see. The princess was rapturously happy at the return of her magic book. The wicked uncle was doomed to wander forever in the darkest corners of the kingdom. And of course, Ardash's family were not surprised. They had known all along that his name means message.